One of the things that I love the most to share with new artists when they first come to work at the Blythe Festival uh, is the incredible spectacle that you're seeing here behind me of a genuine Huron County sunset. Uh, there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. And tonight, uh, it's especially apropos given that the principal thing that I'm here to share with you is that we now know uh, that we won't be able to stage uh, 2020 summer season uh, in Blythe. Uh, it's simply the reality, uh, as much as there can be a reality in these unreal times. We know that uh, what we're facing at the moment is incredibly uncertain, uh, but we are continually inspired by the artists who have come before us, um, as well as all the amazing artists who were to join us here this summer. Um, I've written a letter uh, that uh, was published today in our local newspaper, The Blythe Citizen, uh, and uh, there's a link here on our website to be able to see it. Um, it doesn't adequately express uh, the scope of our grief, um, nor the, the scope of our hope either, our optimism. We know that the one thing that goes so beautifully with a Huron County sunset is a long night by the fire with guitars and fiddles and a family of artists uh, singing deep into the night only to be welcomed the next morning by an incomparable Huron County sunrise. And we know that's coming too, we just don't know when. There are so many incredible people for me to thank, our inspiring, uh, ever bolstering artists, the phenomenal response that we've had to our uh, appeal for donations to keep us alive uh, throughout this scary time. Uh, and the phenomenal sponsors who have stood by us throughout this. And on top of that, too, uh, we've had some incredibly encouraging uh, words from uh, our representatives locally, uh, at the province, uh, the feds, too. We know that uh, the Blythe Festival is a community effort uh, and that keeping it alive and doing what it does best, fulfilling this mission to give voice to the region and the country, that that can only be done by many hands coming together. And so we are going to be patient and be resilient and be strong. We're going to do everything that we can to continue to support our frontline healthcare workers. Uh, we recently uh, went through our entire inventory of N95 masks and donated them to the local hospital in Clinton. Uh, we also went and uh, gave up a bunch of artist accommodations for the artists who won't be coming to town and we've actually um, offered them up to uh, healthcare professionals who can't be home with their families right now um, and who are sacrificing um, their own health and their, their, their own time with their loved ones to help all of us and it's a time when we really have to come together and support each other. And so uh, for all of you who can't be here with us this summer, uh, we miss you. We are thinking of you constantly. And to our community all around us, both here in the county uh, and coast to coast to coast, and even you handful of Americans down there um, uh, who we know love us too and love to be here in Blythe. We're thinking of all of you and we can't wait to bring you all together, turn off the lights and tell an incredible, riveting, beautiful, hilarious, life-changing story from the stage in Blythe. And until we can do that, we'll be here watching the Huron County sunset.